All right, good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to be playing the Tier 6 Cruiser, Premium Cruiser, the Degrass. Now, why is am I playing the Degrass? So, I wanted to maybe try start a new series, potentially, not sure, a playlist, basically, um, talking about some premium ships, right? Or even tech tree ships, just lower tier ships that we don't really get to play and I showcase all the time. And basically, I'll just play like one game, show you the ship, talk about it, you know, it's basically like a mini review because I haven't covered any of these ships down here for reviews, even though they're old and they're still available, correct? So I think I can just showcase them, basically. And, um, you know, for, for newer people or people who are interested in these ships that really can truly haven't found a review that has been updated since, for example, like when they came out. So I don't know when the grass came out, probably 2017, 2016. So maybe this could help. And we could, of course, talk about different ships at the tier. Um, in different videos, but if you do like this video idea, please let me know in the comments, please I would really appreciate it of course and do leave a like if you enjoy it But anyway, let's start off with the build So the build I'm going to be running on the D grass is actually the same as I would run on the San Luis as you can see So I would run last stand and gun feeder then I would run priority target Superintendent survivability expert adrenaline rush then concealment expert and top grade gunner top grade gunner is a bit of a not waste at this tier, but I don't think it's too useful. You can probably run consumable enhancements and demolition expert if you are thinking of exclusively playing the Degras. But if you want to play San Luis, I think Top Grey Gunner is pretty good. And then in terms of my Hydro, here, so, well, sorry, I'm, I am running Hydro. But in terms of my modules and upgrades, I'm running Main Armaments Mod 1, uh, Engine Boost Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, and Prop Mod 1. And this is what the ship looks like, the Degrass, of course, very nice ship, you're gonna get to see it as much in the game. And then alternate camouflage, of course, because maybe some of you are interested in this type of stuff. This is what it looks like compared to the standard normal camo. I do prefer the normal camo myself, but yes. Alright, let's go into a randoms game. Um, insta queue, that's good. So anyway, what's up with the Degrass, what is it? So it is a light cruiser, it is a light cruiser, it has 152mm guns, I believe. Um, Alright, so we got some tier 6 matchmaking. This is pretty good matchmaking for the Degrass. Alright, so I am live commentating it, obviously. Um, as you can see by my mouse motion, my camera motion, you know, but anyway. Um, anyway, so... HP, not insane, 33,900. Remember, this is a tier 6 cruiser, so you're not expecting big, big, big damages or numbers. But we're just gonna see if it's... It, you know, it, it can uh, be pretty good. Honestly... Honestly, if you want the free version, you can just play the Lagali Sony. But I think the Degrass is not a bad ship. But anyway, it's not it's not the best. Obviously, this is just um, kind of like look at the ship kind of thing. This this clock is this how it's supposed to be, bro? Literally like alone. Okay. Anyway, so it has an 8.1 second reload. But with top grade, we're going to be able to buff that when we get close. And um, we have some torps. French Torps, 9 km. Um, of course, as you can see, um, we don't actually have the reload booster, unlike the La Galison here. But instead, I believe we get a better stock reload. And I'm not sure, but I think our speed is higher. No promises. Alright, so let's go this way. Actually, I do want to be more mid, because if, if anything does happen, we want to be closer to mid. We're not going to use a fighter for this. I don't think it's worth it. He's going to drop us. It's okay. It is what it is. We're going to lose our HP here. Is what it is. Lost 2k HP. Not the end of the world, but still annoying. Hopefully, it doesn't circle back for us. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna activate speed boost. So we get a 4 minute speed boost with the speed boost upgrade, which is really good. Now, one thing you have to be cautious of is you are really squishy, as we're gonna see from this Markinson shot. Alright, maybe not. But you are very squishy, so you do have to actually be careful quite a fair amount. Because you can get citadeled, and remember, since you're a tier 6 cruiser, you do not have a heal. So keep that in mind. Okay. I'm gonna get closer to the Konigsberg. I think Konigsberg it's tier 5. Now, I don't play low tier too much, guys. So if I'm not the best at fact-checking, don't blame me. But um, I think the general play style is the same. I think I'm dead. Alright, he missed luckily. Alright, alright. We got lucky twice. I don't think we're gonna get lucky three times. Alright, let's just sit. 
Careful here. So, what's our gun pen? It's 25, so I believe we pen tier 5 battleships, but Koenig does have weird armor, so I'm not sure. To be honest. The arcs are really floaty, of course. These are low tier uh, light caliber guns, so as you can see, very floaty shells. The important thing is that you can actually land them, so you actually can get some damage and fires, obviously. Upgrade gunner is activated, our reload is now 7.9. Wait, no, it's not activated right now, but it was. It was, I saw it, I saw it. Like a split second ago from the Nicholas. It was, it was, trust. Now, you might be asking, why aren't you shooting the destroyer at 12? Well, to be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit the destroyer at 12 with the, uh, the, the, the grass bro. The arcs are really, really bad. So, I think we can just finish off the Koenig, maybe even go for the Koenigsberg. I believe we can pen the Koenigsberg pretty much everywhere. You can't play turbo aggressive in this one because the ice, as I said, the armor is really bad. That's the only thing I kind of forgot to show you in port is the armor scheme. It is really, really, really bad. I think it's like 16 maybe millimeter armor, maybe even 13. I'm not sure when I have to try. The thing is, you get overmatched, so be careful, obviously. Is the guy beaching? If he beaches, we can shoot him. In reverse to get on beach. Accelerate to get on uh, unreversed. Rich. Alright, he dies. Go for the Koenig next. I always like zooming out in these light cruisers especially is because you want to know when people are shooting you especially if you don't have IFA spec in. So every time I shoot of course you're gonna see me like zoom out all the time. That's not because I'm retarded or something guys. That's literally because I want to see shells coming in. I think it's very important to have a lot of situational awareness with your ships. I mean the thing is we do have priority target. But the people can shoot you unlocked also, so do be careful and just make sure you look. Especially in these super light cruisers, or these light cruisers where kind of just, you know, need to look, you know. So let's turn around. We're going to either go for the Congo upstairs or north. <laughs> or we're going to go for either. Yeah, I think north is fine. Or the Ranger. Those are the two options we have. The Mackinson Ranger or the Congo Montecuccoli. Congo is full HP, so that might be a good option, but th there is a submarine to hunt him down. Let's see if we can get our first kill of the game here. No, because I suck. We got this rather instead. So let's get some, that's unfortunate. Alright, upstairs there is a, a submarine, so we might not go up there. I think we just have to anyway, we just have to farm the Congo, to be honest. We'll see. I love this map, by the way. Straight. You don't really play that tier 10, obviously, because it's a very low tier map. It's a very small in size and stuff. But it is a very good map for low tier, I think. Very, very fun. I don't know why my mouse movement is... So I think my sensitivity is, like, super high, I think. Not sure why I'm... Is the Nicholas gonna die? Yes. Turn Hydra on. He didn't die, the Nicholas didn't die. Not good. Okay, he died, that's good. I'm gonna speed boost now so we can actually play the game. The Congo is the one aiming at me on PT. I don't think the Mackinson is aiming at me yet. That's kind of what's worrying me right now, the Mackinson. We can HG Citadel the, the, the CV, so we actually are gonna switch to the CV here. Because the Congo's burning on double. Oh, but he went dark. Actually, I'm just. Forget the Congo here. I think the Mackinsons bow in and I need to help my tech. 
And the Congo is pretty much useless right now, so there's no stress there. Can we get one more salve on the CV? No, we cannot. So let's go back on the Mackinson. Fire. Upgrade is kicking in because there's a submarine in range. We do have air base ASW, which is really interesting actually. For a tier 6 cruiser, that's actually really nice to see. Ship base ASW is probably some of the worst things in this game you can actually have. DCP from the Mackinson, he did shoot AP at me. It's a slow downturn in, because we're at this angle, obviously. To 81k damage, which isn't too bad. Apologies about my sense, my, my mouse sensitivity. It's a bit high, so I'm like flicking around like this. I need to turn it down after this game. Um, of course, and it'll be fixed for the next videos and stuff, of course. Double fire. One of them is perma from me. Alright. I have to be careful chasing the Mackinson because he is only going to be shooting me here. We could always go dark. Yeah, we can go dark. So I'm just gonna stop still here. And I'm gonna try to go dark without dying if possible. Okay. Let's turn around. Yeah, like this so we need to find their submarine because the issue right now is he's kind of chasing us not us but like our team in general right so Submarine is kind of the only thing scaring me right now. Because I don't know where it is. I don't have Hydro on either. He's not spotting me, which is okay, I guess. But Maybe we can just fly north and go for the Monte Coccoli instead of the submarine. Maybe, potentially. Let's see. Issue is with Monte Coccoli's app is he's going to be able to pen me pretty much everywhere. So I'm going to have to play pretty careful against him. Where's he going? They are winning right now. Because we keep walking into them one by one. Enemy team is playing pretty well actually, the thing here is. Because... They're just basically making us push into them. And we're falling for the bait and actually pushing into them. As you can see from everyone dying. Which is really sad. Monte Cucoli is their weakest target. Monte Cucoli is definitely the weakest target. The weak link here. We can finish him off. Our CV is gonna have to finish him off. We can't we can't do this cap. We have to turn this out. And there's a submarine threat somewhere, which I don't know where he is, so... He's probably in that general direction, but I don't know. Do we cap before he strikes me? Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Come on, yes. Alright, we're chilling. I think he started this strike early. No, he got it. 3k on me. We're not going to be able to play here anymore in the cap. And we couldn't go straight there because the Malkinson is going to have my broadside if that was the case. We can go to the 1-2 line. The issue is there's a submarine in the game. He's not pinging me right now, which is a nice thing about it, I guess. It's uh, kind of the good thing about the situation currently is he's not pinging me. Spotted still by the sub, of course. I'm just going to go south and fight the Congo. I think. I think that's a strat here. Fuso is full. He can defeat the old. The submarines have pings at this tier? Because he's not pinging me. So I don't know. I'm not sure about tier 6 guys. To be honest. About everything at tier 6. 
kind of been stuck in tier 10 for ages. I do love tier 10 though. Also, how close can he get to me? Like, killing me. Like, how close can he get? Like, to Torp. For like 2 kilometers. If he doesn't have homing, I guess it's okay. If he has homing, then we're fucked. If we kill Congo, we're gonna have a points boost here, and then we can focus up north later, to be honest. I probably can kill the Congo on my own, but having the help from the carrier basically frees me later on so I can actually play the game for a while. Okay, he's pinging. Submarine's pinging. He can ping at tier 6, it's not good. He found his ping button. Ping's pretty quick, too. Huh? It's okay, we're gonna try go behind these rocks, see what we can do. Okay, we hit them twice there. Not bad. Is it double ping me? TV's coming down here, so I'm basically the prime focus. The enemy CV's rockets are coming down here, you can see them on the map. I'm gonna Hydro here so we know where the Torps are coming. Slow down, turn out. Submarine ping coming. No torps have yet to be seen. I think it's because he's... I don't think tier 6 torps are that, like, long range, right? Maybe they are. Maybe they're, like, 10 kilometer. But we are constantly running away from him. We also outrun the submarine, I believe. We keep hitting him blind. Which is really cool. The CV, the CV, the CV. Okay, I'm gonna just do this. I have to turn out of the border. I'm gonna DCP so there's no pink torps coming. It's a bit of a tough spot for sure, to be honest, especially since we're gonna have to go broadside the rockets here. Is what it is. Now or never. Alright, there's the Torps. He's in C. Sadly, we have never gotten a spot on the sub yet. It's a bit tough. On the surface, dive, bro, dive. I'm gonna have to try to turn like this so he can't torp me at all. He can never torp me like this. Kill him, perfect. Now we go for the Mockinson. The fact that the Fuso is not getting struck yet by any aircraft, our Fuso, means the enemy is carrying... Oh, nothing. Here. I guess he's going up north. He's stuck forever, I guess. That's kind of weird. Kill Malkinson here. Should be fine. We got our next speed boost up in 1 minute 20. I think we're chilling. We're vibing. After the Mackinson dies, we can turn north and actually play the game again. We should finish him off almost. Fire Perma, Fuss is gonna kill. Almost. TV is gonna steal the kill. That's okay. Actually, to be fair, it's not really a stealing kill. It's more like he kinda deserves it, I guess, because he's been farming him, but it's okay. And we also had a lot of damage on him anyway. We're gonna turn around here and we're gonna speed with in 40 seconds. We're gonna head up this gap and we're gonna go straight towards the carrier. I don't think we can get much more damage than we have right now since the game does end in three minutes. And if we get A, it's gonna end even quicker. Unless, of course, our Fuso dies. Um, I think we're okay. I think we win the game. So it was a pretty close game, to be fair. That was quite interesting. It is a tier five game, though. Remember, the grass is, of course, gonna do way worse in tier eight matches. But for tier sixes, I mean, the grass just does, the grass does just fine.
Um, of course, La Galissonnière has the, the reload booster, which is really nice sometimes, to be honest. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> it has a reload booster, which can be pretty useful a lot of the time. But, you know, the grass is fine too. <laughs> Let us push up. I don't think we're gonna get into anywhere relevant in time. And I think it's GG, to be honest. He's 23 kilometers away, so we need... Cover, what's our range? 16? Alright, so in 6 kilometers, 7 kilometers in 2 minutes. How hard could it be, right? We're going 38 minutes. Oh, the Monte Cucoli died, so it's actually less time. I mean, we're going pretty fast. This thing can clap 40.2 knots. But one minute to get there, no way. Plus the spotting's gonna die because the CV lost its planes. And we're also gonna cap. So, actually much less time to get there. I don't think we do actually get a salvo on this ranger, sadly. No, spotting died. Pretty much GG, to be honest. Um, there you go, there's the dig grass. We'll of course look at the score screen. We'll talk about the build one more time. We'll look at the armor layout. And um, we'll check the price. And that's pretty much it, really. There you go. The, the grass. Tier 6. Bruiser in the grass. Okay, let's look. go back to port and always we always like looking at the so why I do this because someone asked in the comments a while ago is because I want to look at the map background instead of the, just the picture but anyway um so we ended up getting 140,000 damage 268 shell hits 14 well actually 19 planes shot down three kills 18 incapacitations Five target hits with the ASW, 18 fires, and four floods. These are massive numbers, of course. 17 defenders, pretty big ribbons. And we got the three achievements. We got Arsonist, Confederate, and High Caliber. If we go on to team score, we ended up getting 2.7k base XP as a top tier, which is pretty good because we don't get improved XP, of course. But the game is, of course, easier in terms of detailed report. We ended up getting, um, of course, 140k damage, all from HE basically, some from depth charges, pretty much all from HE though. And um, we did to the submarine, we did 4k with ASW, and then, yeah, you know, HE, 4k, whatever. Um, fire damage 52k, we almost had a wither to be honest. We also could have gotten way more damage if we actually got in the farm, the ranger at the end. But, and more XP, of course, but there you go. In terms of credits and XP, we got 655,000 credits, 12,000 XP, 3,000 free XP, and 14,800 commander XP. And um, there you go. In terms of my commander, again, we're running Gun Feeder, Last Stand, Priority Target, Superintendent, Survivability Expert, Adrenaline Rush, Top Grade Gunner, and Concealment Expert. In terms of equipment, we're running Prop Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, Engine Boost Mod 1, and Main Armaments Mod 1. And in terms of the armor scheme, 16mm nose, 16 sides, 16 aft, and a 25mm deck. The deck isn't too bad to be honest, but the nose is pretty underwhelming, and the sides and the ship itself really, I mean, the... the the armor scheme right so that if we can actually find my statistics i don't think i've played the ship too much throughout my many years of playing this game um or of owning it i've played nine games in a 70k average that's my record game i guess um <laughs> there you go there you go there's my stats for the degrass i don't know if they're really any good or not to be honest 70k doesn't seem too high but it is a tier 6 cruiser at the end of the day there you go in terms of the pricing of the ship since you are probably wondering, let's go into the armory, ships, and then we scroll. Actually, we can actually sort by tier 6 cruiser. The grass is 5.8k. The balloons, here you are. 
and the digress um, hope you enjoyed this video um, also if you want to actually buy it with money instead of the balloonage you can go into the premium shop I believe um, if this were to load we go into ships and then we sort tier 6 cruiser um, 19 euros um, it is pretty expensive to be fair um, I wouldn't buy a tier 6 cruiser myself um, but for those of you who are actually interested in the Degrass, I hope this helped you in your choosing if you, you know, if you were undecided if you were to get it or not. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, anyway, um, big fan and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Big fan.